welcome back to Cuckoo Smart. Uh, today I have some assistance. My name is Danny. I'm Smart's brother. I'm Wee Smart. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a Smart and a half today. <laughs> today we're going to be making lentil soup. The lentil soup is pretty normal, but a lot of people have been uh, saying how much they enjoy my lentil soup, so I thought I'd put it online for you. So Danny's going to be dealing with some of the chopping and most of the pan work. So today we're going to start off with a hot pan. And over here is the rest of the ingredients Danny will introduce for you. So first of all I've got some butter and some oil and some celery, some onions, carrots, sweet potato, turnip, potatoes and cabbage. And obviously for lentil soup you need lentils. That's all the ingredients. Melt the butter in the pan with some oil. Just a splash of oil. Now don't stab your big brother. So right, I'll just chop up some stuff down here and you can throw it into the pan. Oh. Right, so I'm just kind of going to uh, roughly chop the onion. There we go. Throw them right in the pan. Straight in the pan. Onions in the pan with the oil and butter. And with that, some celery. And just going to cut the egg up. I'd like to keep the whole head of the celery together, that way it makes it a little easier to chop. And I could just kind of make it a little bit smaller by making little slices like so, and then I could chop through the whole thing. There we go. I have one of the small top tips. So we want to soften up the onion, the celery and the carrot all together for about five minutes, don't we? Five minutes, yeah. I think so, yeah. That's going to give it a good base flavour. I like a good tip if the onions are getting to your eyes is to suck a teaspoon. Also, you could run the cold tap. Yeah. I don't know why, but it seems to work. I think a wooden spoon works also. Mm. Yeah, I've had that. It doesn't have to be metal. Carrots in the pan. I think we'll just start throwing in the rest of the veg, you know, just get it all in a bit there. If you can reach up in the cupboard down and get rid of the stock, mm -hmm. the other side. So it's a bit of nor vegetable bouillon. It's like concentrated stock, so you just want to a good wee dollop of that. Just a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Smells delicious already. <laughs> okay, this stage we're gonna put gonna put the lentils in as well. I like to put the lentils in before the water because if you cook them up slowly, it just kind of seems to bring out the flavour a little bit. It just kind of opens them up. So you just want that on a low heat, add a little bit of flour. So that'll just kind of make the the soup a little thicker later on. But obviously the lentils make the soup thicker also. So just get in about that. Is this actually lentils or is it? Uh, with these. They're red lentils. Oh, yeah. So because they're so small you don't need to soak them, you know. Whereas if I were using split peas or green uh, split peas, you would have to soak them overnight. Yeah. Okay. Well that's the onions and the celery are softened up now. So we'll add some boiling water to the soup. So, give that a good stir. It's looking lovely already, really, really colourful. It's like those shirts grow, eh? It's like those shirts, you know? <laughs> Hawaiian <laughs> soup. <laughs> Hawaiian Scottish lentil soup. So this is more of like winter soup, obviously we're looking very summery. And we're in Scotland today and it's scorching outside as well. But I think you can have a good thick soup any time of the year, you know? It's like a meal in itself. So we're just going to get in with the rest of the veg now. Um, this is savoy cabbage, you should use white cabbage, pointed cabbage is really good, but the flavour you get out of cabbage is just, it's really lovely, the soup loves it. Just exactly the same as the sweet potatoes, you 
you could just stick with normal potatoes, but you get a great bit of flavour out of these, you know? And it just kind of... The sweet potato, it's like kind of cross with your carrot and potato. Even though it's a sweet potato, but uh, the soup loves it. So, just like roughly chop big bits, there we go. Get a little bit more water. Seasoning. Usually we season it at the end, but just put a wee bit in at the start anyway. How's that? It's looking pretty full, isn't it? Yeah. So that's great, we're just going to top that up with water and then let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour until the lentils are really nice and soft. Here we go. So that's the soup been simmering away for an hour now. We'll just taste it, see if it's need any seasoning. I think that's fine. You want to taste some? Have a wee try. We brothers will share the same spoon. <laughs> that's lovely. I think that's ready to go. Yeah. Mm. Ready to serve. Yummy, yummy. Hungry there, Dan? There we go. So you we'll have it. Smudge and Danny's homemade soup. Ha, 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 ha.